Hi, I'm Alan. This is the video. Good morning and good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Drop Trash. Today, we're going to be checking out a newly verified Nine Circles Extreme Demon that is projected to be somewhere between like the 50 and the 30 range on the list, which is pretty dang hard. It was verified by Swyborg just yesterday, and it is honestly probably the best Nine Circles Extreme that we have ever gotten. Not to say that that's very impressive. However, it is, and I think that's pretty cool. The level in question is right here. Solar Flare... Flare. Solar Flare. There you go. I can speak English. I'm very good at it, actually. Fun fact of the day, I know how to speak English. By Linear 2. Also, obviously, shout out to Swybarg for verifying this. Let's uh, give it a shot, jump into it, try it out, and see what happens. This one caught my eye. I never really thought much about it, and then the level came out yesterday, and I was watching it, and it's honestly pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done, like, a playthrough video like this for, like, an easier ish level for a very long time not to say the top 50 is easy by any means uh, as you can clearly tell by my performance so far this level is absolutely impossible holy shit what are these timings how am, am i catching something here no there's nothing there i don't know why i'm dying to that it should not have been as hard as it was i'm not gonna lie oh that's a gross yellow orb oh you gotta jump from the corner there that's spicy this beginning cube is so hard this did not look as hard as it is i'm not gonna lie i feel kind of cheated out when i was uh watching the video of the, and the verification of this i was like oh that doesn't look too bad this beginning cube is pretty easy and then the wave came and it looked impossible this cube is like really hard <laughs> i think the thing that i really like about this level is that it kind of feels like it, it kind of feels like an experimental 2.0 nine circles level but created with the skill of a 2.1 creator does that make sense so like the vibe this level gives off is like an early 2.0 level but it looks kind of like a 2.1 level if, if that makes sense like the quality of the creation itself is like really good okay I, I, I passed the cube, but that was really hard. Like, incredibly hard as well. I'm actually kind of, like, shocked at how much harder that was than I thought it was going to be. I'm assuming, like, with every other Nine Circles level ever, though, it's, it would get very consistent once you get, get it down. I have to go so far up there. What the hell? This is a very, very tight ship control. I really like the ship part. The ship part is very good for an end circles level, just in general, honestly. The ship part seems very satisfying to pull off. I really like this part. This is very good. Very hard, though. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of kicking my ass a little bit. Ooh, that little stray fly there at the very end. I have to go, like, a little tiny bit up. Yeah, like, going up there a little bit at the very end of that ship part, that's tight. That's very tight. So far, really cool, though. I'm, like, pleasantly surprised with the gameplay quality so far. The thing about Nine Circles levels that is always, like, a very scary thing is gameplay quality. Especially with, like, the earlier parts. Because the earlier parts of Nine Circles levels just tend to be kind of rushed and not really well thought out. And I think that's the biggest issue a lot of people have with Nine Circles levels in general, is that a lot of them just feel kind of thoughtless. Like stuff like Aerial Gleam, right? It looks cool. It looks like a good... It, it looks visually pleasing, but the gameplay is just so lackluster. It's just made for difficulty and it doesn't really explore any ideas with gameplay that you wouldn't see anywhere else, right? It's just kind of like Hard Wave XD, and that's about it. But this level feels like it has a lot more thought and care put into it which i really like okay wave part this transition looks pretty shit though yeah this transition is not very good we have to go up there so you go like here go over here go up there and then between this Ooh, that looks hard i really like the custom saw blades they look really cool wait what oh oh that's i don't know how i feel about that because this looks like you would go between here and you would go like bam 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 if these spikes weren't here. I didn't see the spike initially. Yeah, that's weird. This looks like a weird little pattern. To be fair, I'd rather have like small or long sweeping strokes as EVW calls them than have those like really tiny corridors. But that's just a preference of low CPS. Not to say that this level is low CPS. There's one part at the very end of the wave that's like really weird. Am I supposed to go up there? I am supposed to go up there. I'm just failing it. Okay. Man, these, these hitboxes are kind of hard. I'm really bad at saw blades though. Like saw blades and wave, just hardest thing ever. This part is so cool, dude. This part right here, really cool. I really like this part. There's just something about this part that's just like really sick to me. Oh, so awesome. I'm having like slight, slight start position lag. Oh, I'm supposed to go over that. Oh. Goofy. I don't, okay, so one thing I will say though is that I don't like the fact that they kind of like block off 
routes that you can take. There are certainly some uh, routes in this level that look like they should work, but they just don't because there's like a forced intended route. I don't like that very much, but that's just like a minor complaint. Like, obviously it sucks that you're not allowed to like choose your own path kind of thing. Wow, that's a tight gap. Yikes. Yeah, stuff like this. It's like, it looks like you could go between there and I feel like that would be easier for some people, but you just can't because there's like a giant invisible saw blade here, right? Same with like here. You could choose between going here or going here, but you just can't because there's a giant invisible saw blade here. And stuff like that, I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah, and this one as well. Like, you could very easily just go between here, but you can't. And stuff like that kind of annoys me. I think you should let people choose whatever path they think is more comfortable for their own click patterns. Again, it's like a minor thing. It's not like a huge deal in most cases. This level is a little bit extreme with it, though. I won't lie. I should just speed hack it, honestly. Because the start position lag is like super intense yeah like look at where my icons basically starts i hate star position lag rob top fix your f game i don't have much more to say about these particular parts though it's like the level consistently stays very similar throughout the entire level which i think is a good thing i think it has like a very consistent style which is obviously a very positive thing in my opinion uh for nine circles level staying po consistently good throughout the entire part or entire level is a very good thing oh that is so hard what the hell where do i go here I do go down there. This is so hard. What the hell? Why is this part like the hardest thing ever? Yeah, these parts are absolutely crazy. I really wish I could try these like in normal speed, but <coughs> we love Rob Top. Oh, this part is sick. I really like this part visually. Where do I go here? You go up there? Hello? Nah, there's no way that's what you have to do, right? That is what you have to do. That's actually crazy. It looks like you can land uh, on top of it though. There's a giant block there. Yeah, okay. That makes it a little bit more reasonable, but still, that is crazy. This part is so hard. Like, I, 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 I actually thought this was going to get, like, easier toward the end. This part is actually ridiculous. I have to go there. What? Wait, how do I get there, actually? Hello? Oh, I have to go there. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I want to do this part. This, this part right here kind of, like, shocked me. Like, when I saw the verification video, this was, like, the part. <laughs> oh my god i actually managed to do it i don't know why this part is satisfying like it, it's a really terrible way to end the wave but it is very satisfying <laughs> the transition out of it is really horrible though like that first that pink orb is really bad you can't jump too late i'm actually getting good at it what the hell why I'm actually getting good at it. Hello, look at this. I want to do this to 100 at least. 90 to 100, easy. Yes, I did it. 90 to 100. I'm so cracked at video game. This level's really cool. I really like this. This is a very sick and nice service level. Uh, I didn't really have much to say about it because, well, service isn't like maybe just not able to do much. But this is surprisingly good. I really like this. Yeah, no, go check it out for yourself. Shout out again to Swybor for verifying. And Swybor has been around for such a long time. So seeing him verify something like this after such a long time, really cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Introduce the health of Hydrated. Check this level out. It's really, really sick. And hopefully it gets rated soon. Goodbye, everyone.